To set up our GNSS, we select our GNSS tile. Then we select Edit. Select Correction Source to open the Options menu of Available Corrections. The Available Correction Source table will be dictated by two things. One, it will only display correction sources available according to which licenses are installed in the display. Secondly, if it is a subscription-based service such as CenterPoint or RangePoint RTX, you will also need a valid subscription installed in the system. This first screenshot indicates a system which is unlocked to RTK, but no RTX subscriptions are installed. This second screenshot highlights what you would see when a valid subscription is installed. To set up RangePoint RTX, select RangePoint. To set up CenterPoint RTX, select CenterPoint RTX Satellite. This is receiving the correction data from a satellite. If receiving corrections via modem, select CenterPoint RTX modem. This is where the corrections for the RTX are sent over IP. Your correction source should now have been updated to your desired correction. The setting position quality is covered in the autonomous setup section of this chapter. To continue setting up RTX, go to the setup tab. If using CenterPoint RTX, you will have the option of turning on or off fast restart. This option enables an operator to turn on the system and have it converge to its highest level of accuracy within under 5 minutes, opposed to the standard convergence time which can take up to 20 to 25 minutes. In order for fast restart to work, the system must have been converged to a minimum of 4 cm horizontal error before it would shut down. Secondly, when the unit repowers, it must remain stationary or until a notification is seen indicating that the unit can now be moved. Thirdly, this will only work if the unit is shut down in clear open skies. This is not an option when using RangePoint RTX or Viewpoint RTX corrections. Convergence threshold is where you have the ability to define how accurate the corrections need to be in order for the operator to begin work. For example, a 50 cm convergence threshold will enable the operator to begin auto guidance and application control as the horizontal error reaches 50 cm or below. This may take the initial startup time from a full 20 to 25 minutes down to a minimum of 5 minutes, but remember you are not at the highest level of accuracy. On the other hand, setting this convergence threshold to 5 cm will force the operator to wait until his convergence is at its highest level. This means it will take considerably longer, but the system it is a higher accuracy when you begin work. If having a higher convergence threshold is selected, the system will still converge down to its highest level. It's purely letting the operator begin sooner. If you are looking for repeatability in your guidance lines, it is recommended to set convergence threshold to the lowest possible setting of 5 cm when initially creating your master set of guidance lines. The last step in setting up RTX corrections is setting the frequency. The frequency is region specific, which for our region is Asia Pacific. Once these steps have been completed, be sure to press the save button to exit out of the screen and save the settings. You can check on the performance of your receiver once set up by going into the Diagnostics tab under the GNSS Performance. From within Diagnostics, you have the ability of disabling and re-abling fast restart if using CenterPoint RTX, changing the RTX frequency if set incorrectly, and adjusting the position quality, which was covered in the autonomous section. The main indicator under Diagnostics to indicate that your correction is working is the correction age. The correction age indicates the time that has elapsed between receiving correction data. For CenterPoint you may see this around 15 seconds or higher for RangePoint RTX. The max correction age will be highlighting the longest period of time that the system has gone without seeing a correction from the satellite. 
The maximum amount of time that the receiver can operate without this correction is 120 seconds. Other information regarding the correction sources are the configured correction source, the correction status of that correction source and whether it is fixed or converging, the current convergence threshold if using Centerpoint RTX, and whether or not that fast restart is ready. It is useful to point this diagnostics page out to a customer when using Centerpoint RTX, as they can cross-reference the estimated horizontal error to the convergence threshold to give them an indication of how close the system may be until the satellite icon turns green and they can begin work. It is also useful to know if they quickly turn the vehicle on and move it, they can reference to see whether fast restart will actually be available when they turn the system back on.